Um, in this third part, I will show you how to combine uh, both worlds. So we had Kapua interface displaying data. We had Grafana interface visualizing this data uh, by manually creating data sources and uh, connecting them to this visualization components. And now how to combine those two things and adding also the authentication and authorization to these uh, scenarios. First of all, here we don't log in directly to Grafana, but we are using a proxy. So we have a custom application proxy, which is uh, based at GP, like Grafana proxy login. So user logs in as a Grafana user. We saw that user in the first video when we logged in into Kapua. This is actually Kapua user. Grafana and his credentials login. Now, this login goes through authenticating user in Kapua, checking his credentials that the user is actually uh, allowed uh, to access the data and then is sent to a, this logged in page, which in this case it's manual, but actually it's a meta tag that automatically redirects the user to a Grafana. Still, this request goes through a proxy. So application proxy takes care of all authentications between uh, Kapua and Grafana. So as we see here, user is logged in. It has an empty dashboard and it's logged in as a Grafana. And what's even more, it's logged in into organization com trait. What this proxy does is, while the user is logged in, it checks that this, which account this user belongs to. As we know, Kapua is multi-tenant environment. And in, in our case, we assign this user to a com trait account. So com trait organization is created in Grafana. And this user is assigned to this organization. And that's not all. During the process, it also checks uh, the data store for this user and creates the data store for Comtrade organization and assigns this data store to Comtrade organization. As, and as a user is assigned to this organization, it has access to this data store. As we see here, the user is not administrator. It's an editor in Grafana, so it doesn't have option to create new data sources. It can only use existing data source for this organization. In this way, we can split account, accounts, different accounts in Kapua into multiple organizations in Grafana and use the same Grafana for all the organizations defined in Kapua. Let us create a simple dashboard. New dashboard with the graph. And now this is uh, demo data that this is basic when Grafana creates a graph. So we will edit this graph. And as a data source, uh, we have a drop down selection and we see a country data source. This data source was created automatically when user was logged in or when the first user from this account Comtrade was logged in and it creates this data source. So we'll use this data source and we'll write a Lucene query. So say, and the metrics, I'll take average. And then we select field. And we, as we see, these uh, are the metrics that are actually stored in this data source. So we can simply just select like metrics ambient double, which is ambient temperature. This is the same temperature when we were looking at Kapua. This is the ambient temperature that we have in Kapua. And it's also the same data source as this is the Grafana user. Okay. This is it. We save it. And the dashboard is empty as the data is not collected right now, so we'll take last 12 hours maybe. No, 
24 hours. Oh, we're starting to see the data. Yesterday some data was collected. So now I deleted all the dashboards. So we have a empty dashboards for a Grafana user. And now we'll import a dashboard. This is the easiest way to share and uh, use the dashboard. Actually, you could create ones, but this is usually done once and then shared with others. For example, in our scenario, we have on a Cura device, which collects the data for, from sensor tech, we have a bundle on Cura that collects data and sends this data as metrics into a Elastic. And then we created a dashboard for that. And this dashboard can now be reused by anyone using that uh, Cura bundle. And here we'll import the dashboard. I have a dashboard either as a JSON uh, text or I can just upload the file. I exported it once from the other dashboards that we have. So I'll open it. We can name it. And we need to connect it to a data source. And as we saw, this data source was created for us. Home trade data source in our account. I just select the data source and say import. The data that was collected from the Cura device, sensor tech, pushed to a cloud, on Kapoor cloud, and now it's represented in uh, Grafana. And what's more important <laughs> important the, the how this solution works here you can see in URL this is uh, behind it Grafana proxy this is custom implemented Grafana proxy that does this authorization and creation of data sources and so on between Kapua and Grafana so this is the part connecting them and also if we had a custom login we also have to have a custom logout so GP clears the cookies, clears all the data and puts user to a basic login. This could be start. This is just an example how to use it, but it, this can easily be CSS start to any application even looking the same as Grafana does. The following videos will explain a little bit more about architecture of this proxy and how to configure it. Uh, this proxy is run from a Docker container. I will post the links to uh, where this is. This Docker container is available, and this Docker container is actually based on a, a stock Grafana container from Docker Hub. Uh, and on top of that, the proxy is added. Proxy is implemented for now for demo purposes in Node.js, but could easily also be implemented as a Apache uh, module IoT Comfort.com is behind Apache proxy and this Apache proxy proxies to a GP Nirvana proxy which is application proxy so it's chain of two proxies that uh, does all the, all the magic of uh, making this integration possible For, as I said following with us will explain how this was done and how either you can use it and configure it or develop your own.